Africa's tourism industry is on fire. Ghana, known for its much-hyped year of return, has led the charge. But now, more countries are getting the spotlight. Let's explore the reasons why Abuja, Nigeria deserves a closer look. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel for the best Africa travel content on YouTube. What is Abuja, Nigeria? Located smack dab in the middle of the country, Abuja is both the geographic and political center of Nigeria. Built to decongest the former capital Lagos, Abuja replaces its narrow streets and chaos with wide boulevards and peaceful residential neighborhoods. Abuja is by far the wealthiest city in West Africa. Don't believe me? Take a look at these houses. The city also boasts a relatively good road network and arguably the best infrastructure in the region. Forget about power outages, the lights are on 24-7 in major city districts like Asokoro and Maitama. Water and sewage services are also available and major hotels boast in-house water purification systems. As the seat of Nigeria's government, Abuja is a political city, home to major government institutions like the presidency, the senate, and House of Representatives. But despite its largely political focus, Abuja also manages to stay vibrant and fun. Right. Right. Having fun in Abuja. When you first visit Abuja, you will need a hotel, and you should look no further than the Transcorp Hilton, located in the Posh Maitama district. Owned by Nigerian billionaire Tony Elemelu, this five-star property is one of the finest in Africa. And more than just a place to sleep, it is a popular hangout spot for both locals and visitors alike. Make sure to enjoy a nice cocktail at the Fulani bar by the pool. This is the Chapman, Nigeria's most popular non-alcoholic mixed drink. really nice. Or enjoy freshly prepared suya at one of the Hilton's many restaurants. But my favorite attraction is the Craft Village. Modeled after a traditional nomadic settlement, this gift shop sells the highest quality souvenirs I've seen anywhere in Africa. More than just trinkets and knickknacks, some of these are actual artifacts showcasing the rich history of Nigeria. This pre-colonial currency is probably over a hundred years old. At least hundred years before independence. What part of Nigeria is this from? This one, the part of Nigeria is in Bauchi. Bauchi. Bauchi state. And here is money from Nigeria's civil war in the 60s. How much do you sell this for? For this one? Yeah. Okay, I'll sell for you 5,000. But you, I'll sell for you 4,000. And don't forget the swords. Old sword for, from Sokoto.
Okay, and what culture does this come from? The, this one from Kano. Kano. Yeah, Emir of Kano. You use it for ceremonial time like a solar break. Okay. Yeah, you use it to hang it if you ride horse. Put it to the neck like this. And then you put it if you ride horse. Okay. Yeah, like this. this is from Kano. Wow. Very nice. My favorite is this handmade chessboard with African style pieces made of metal and wood. Okay, and how much would you sell something like this? This one will sell it 110. The craft village also features a tailor shop where you can get local clothes made to fit you perfectly. Shopping and leisure. Outside the hotel, you should check out Abuja's many attractions. Shopaholics will enjoy Jabby Lake Mall. Located near Man Made Lake, this massive shopping center features a movie theater along with a wide range of stores and restaurants, including American favorites like Domino's Pizza and Cold Stone Cream. The ice cream tastes different from in the US, but it's still great. Party animals can sip mixed drinks on the lake at the Jabby Boat Club. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool place, but the water is a little too dirty for my liking. Poor maintenance is a big issue in Nigeria. Families with kids should check out the Magic Land Amusement Park, which includes bumper cars, carousels, and an observation wheel, among other attractions. But don't forget to immerse yourself in the Northern Nigerian culture, which is a dominant force in Abuja. Located in the Garki district is Balan Gambo Kilishi Park. Kilishi is a candied beef made by the Hausa people, and it is one of the most unique foods you'll try in Abuja. So, what is the difference between the red one and the yellow one? That one, the white pepper, this one, the red. But the spices is all the same. Abuja is a relaxed city where old people rule, but that doesn't make it boring. The nightlife scene is off the chain with exclusive clubs and live music from top Afrobeats artists who perform on a weekly basis. At the most exclusive clubs like Hustle and Bustle, expect to rub shoulders with the elites of Nigeria. The prices are outrageous, so be ready to open your wallet. My favorite Abuja nightclub is Play. Located on the bottom floor of the Hilton Hotel, the music here is fantastic. And even the staff can't help but dance to the beat. Who should visit Abuja? Despite its perks, Abuja, Nigeria is not for everyone. I recommend this city for experienced Africa travelers who have already spent time on the continent. Beginners should look to more tourist-focused cities like 
Kigali, Rwanda for an easier landing. Abuja is ideal for people who already have connections in Nigeria or the ability to make them quickly. And although I didn't experience any crime or danger in the city, the security situation in Nigeria is cause for concern with locals strongly advising caution in certain areas. Overall, Abuja is best for well-capitalized investors looking for high margin investments in Africa. The city has a large wealthy population which is eager to spend money on luxury goods and services. And the real estate market is on fire, with land in developing districts said to double in Naira terms every two years. This plot here is for sale. So, if you want to build yourself a little apartment complex, you know who to call. And while Abuja, Nigeria is not perfect, it certainly has a lot to offer, making it a must-see location on any African traveler's bucket list.